Hello, it's Andrea. I'm having a horrible day today. I actually already recorded this video and I had to re-record the whole entire thing. I deleted a lot of the footage, I think, when I was clearing out my memory card. Devon! I'm not in the mood to hear you breathe. Look at this haircut. Devon, you're kind of like a little boss. I hate having to refilm things. It's literally annoying. So now I'm gonna force you guys to look at what I bought. I have a couple of things behind me. I'm gonna be doing my monthly faves and a little miniature haul. Um, all together as one, like I said I was going to be doing. Completely off subject, I just wanna share something with you guys. I asked on Twitter and on Facebook, what would you rather wake up to, a snake or a tarantula? Comment below. Actually, on Twitter, snake won by a landslide. I was really surprised, actually, because what if the snake's poisonous? And snakes are a lot faster. Like, I have a snake, and I love my snake, but my snake's a ball python. I mean, they're pretty harmless. Like, if you woke up to a wild snake, I was actually really shocked that snake won. Even though I own a snake, snake I was like, wow, I, I expected everyone to say tarantula because they're slower. But then again, tarantulas would be harder to find if they did scurry away somewhere, that's for sure. <sighs> All right, so back to my video. I have a little mini haul in this bag right here, and I have some faves. So, let's get started. One thing that stays in my kitchen now, and what it is, is it's called stevia. Stevia is basically a sweetener that doesn't have any calories. It literally has zero calories. It comes from a plant. It's not like, you know, any weird chemical or anything like that. It's how I sweeten my coffee now. It is a little bit weird to get used to. It is very, like you literally only need like a fingernail full. <laughs> yeah. It's just called pure Stevia extract. Using it, it took me like a month to get used to the taste, but now I'm used to it and I use it to sweeten. cool, that's not the word I'm looking for, healthy alternative to any kind of sweetener that you're using. The second thing, my nails are a hot mess right now because I've been practicing a tutorial on them, <laughs> And uh, but this is the color of the month. And I've been wearing it in my past couple of videos and it's called Peachy Keen by China Glaze. This is it right here. And yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say about it, but I like it so much. The next thing is this foundation from Boots Number no. 7. It's called Stay Perfect Foundation. This is like the perfect color for me for out in the sun. When I just want to wear like, you know, something really light, just like a light layer of foundation and like mixed with moisturizer, this is the perfect color for me. It's number 10, Ivory. And you know how like everyone's face has like a base color of what it like is and then you can go over it with some bronzer like in certain areas like around your face but overall it has like you know its main color this is like my main color if i go out into the sun um, with a mirror like outside and put it on it literally looks exactly like my skin you can't even tell i'm wearing foundation unless i like cake it on and put powder on then you can't even tell that i'm wearing foundation when i'm wearing this color and that's why i love it so much and it has spf 15 in it so little protection there but it has SPF so in pictures or on camera sometimes it comes off a little bit lighter when I apply it because of the SPF but out in the Sun it is my baby I love it so much speaking of moisturizer I'm still using this Kiehl's ultra moisturizer um, it's my favorite still I'll link it down below Brittany's out there playing music I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's freaking loud okay so this is my eyebrow um, pencil. I prefer to use shadow, but this is my favorite pencil if I am going to use a pencil because it looks very natural. It's like one shade lighter than my brow, so it just kind of helps give it shape without giving it like too much color. But I think I'm actually going to color my eyebrows to match my hair. This actually is from Lonza and it's my Thermal Defense Heat Styler. This is basically what I spray while I'm styling. So you know how you spray, sometimes you spray hairspray first and then you curl your hair? Well this is what I use for that. This way I'm still adding some more protection as I'm styling. I'm really big on heat protection. I have to protect my hair. Like I said in another video, I have to protect my hair even if I'm only going under warm heat. If I'm just going out into the sun, I always wear a heat protector if heat is going to be around because my hair does not like heat. Do you, girl? You don't like no heat. And I recommend it to everyone. It has a slight hold, so um, it's not like something that you want to just like spray on and then flat iron your hair with. 
mm, and it smells all of their products smell good I'm like Lonza's number one fan they literally like saved my hair this is a little store that I've never shopped at before I was searching for the regular BB and so I went into this store and I'm like where's the actual BB and they're like we don't have one in this mall and I'm like Ugh. and so I find out that they're like trying to limit the actual BB stores which is cool but they're kind of putting out more of these two BB stores, which I guess are kind of, kind of like the Forever 21 of BB, um, well their version, just like things are not as expensive. And obviously like there's not as much detail put into their accessories as like the regular BB. Um, but they actually weren't that bad, because sometimes when you go into like a store that is like lower priced, they don't really put any effort into like their accessories, and it's kind of a waste of money because it just like falls apart after like a couple of wears, at least I've noticed that, or like the rhinestones fall out, and that's kind of like why with accessories, I like to, I mean, I would rather kind of just pay, my, pay money for it, um, cause it just ends up being a bunch of junk, like hanging in my jewelry holder that I'm never gonna wear cause things are missing. So I don't mind putting forth the money for accessories, but now that I just went like on a tangent about how I hate accessory world, these were actually decent, but like I said, things were falling off. This was my favorite bracelet and one of the gems has already fallen off of it. But, you know, I should have known that. Um, but actually, pretend the gems was not off of it. Look how cute that is. And this is where the gem fell off, right there. I'm actually really mad about it. And it was my favorite one. Like, look how cute that is. And I, and I love gaudy jewelry. I love gaudy bracelets. So I found these. And they actually have like a lot of rhinestones on them. And I just thought, like, look at, I just thought they were so adorable. I just think that they're special. <sighs> my battery keeps dying on my camera. It's just a horrible day, you guys. The next thing that I got, I'm blurry. The next thing that I got that I actually really liked was this waist belt. And the reason why I liked it so much is because I like this right here. You know what, actually, is if you go to Etsy, there's like a lot of handmade waist belts there. And um, I just like things that, I like waist belts that have a lot of effort put into them. And so actually I was really happy when I found this right here because um, it just has like a lot of, you know, it's not like amazing, but you can tell that they did, you know, put some time and effort into like the design right here. So I was actually really happy. And not just this belt, I got another one and I can't find it anywhere around my messy room, but my room is literally like a disaster right now. It's somewhere under these piles of clothes. But um, they actually have really cute belts there that I liked and I was going through them for like 30 minutes and um, I settled on two of them and yeah, my favorite thing that I got there. It's this necklace and look how big the pendant is. I love that so much. It's just really precious to me. Can you imagine? I actually probably would have worn this with this top, except for I had to do the video on it first. This is probably gonna take the place of my Bowser necklace, because my Bowser necklace I never got tired of. I still wear it. This is hot. I like this. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be wearing the hell out of this. It's gonna break because I'm gonna wear it so much. I love just the color of the chain. I love the, you know, even though obviously this isn't real, it's just made so cutely. It's not a word, but we're gonna go with it. So if you would have gone to like the regular BB and were to find something like this, it probably would have been like 30 or 40, but um, it was only $10. So I really wanted to share that because I'm really excited about it. The next thing that I got, um, this was only $9 and it's basically just like this braided, scaly white bracelet pack of three. And the reason why I mainly got it is because I need more jewelry with some um, white on it. <laughs> I really don't have anything that has white um, on it. I only have like three pieces of like accessory jewelry that you know has white on it, and so that's the reason why I got these. And plus, they just kind of reminded me of like three snakes. You know what I mean? And I'm obviously obsessed with snakes, kind of, huh? Like if that was like a snake wrapped around my wrist, wouldn't that be like the prettiest snake ever? I don't have anything else. Um, all in all, when it comes to accessories, I definitely will be shopping here again. I recommend um, this, their secondary store, 2B BB. I think I got everything though. I don't think that I forgot anything. That's it. These are my faves. Um, expect another video in about one to two days. I have some amazing 
things well maybe they're not amazing to you but they're amazing to me um to show you guys and i also have some decor videos coming up decor videos take longer to put together than beauty videos um because it's just a whole nother process and i have to find a place in my house to actually do the demonstration on i know some of you guys have been asking for more decor videos and um i have a lot planned i'm actually so into that right now and that's it okay you guys i gotta go but just know i love you and i'll see you guys soon okay